So in today's video, I'll show you how to unbox and set up the HP DeskJet 2755 on a Windows computer. I'll also have separate videos for setup on a Mac and on mobile devices. So feel free to check those out. And I'll also have a separate review video for this printer. So if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe so you're notified when that review is uploaded. And if you're looking to buy yourself the HP DeskJet 2755, I'll leave a link right below the video. Video. So to start off I've opened the box up to see what's inside and the first thing you'll find is the quick start guide and hopefully you won't need this because I'll be walking you step by step through the entire setup process and next you have the power cable and then you'll find the two cartridges and last but not least some marketing documentation. Let's also get rid of this piece of cardboard so we can get to the printer, lay the box out on a flat table or surface and then pull the printer out onto the table or surface and once you've done that you'll notice that there is another reference guide and some other documentation and as you can see I've removed the cardboard end caps and the plastic film covering the printer and there's a few more pieces of packing tape to remove. Let's start with this piece on top. To get to it let's open up the front cover then open up the inner cartridge cover and then pull the piece of blue tape with the attached piece of cardboard out of the compartment next you want to open up the scan bed and remove the piece of clear packing tape that is on the scan bed peel that off and now you're going to plug one end of the power cable into the back of the printer plug the other end into a power outlet power the printer on by pressing the power button and wait for the printer to boot up and now it's time to install the cartridges now i've removed their outer plastic pack Packaging. However, I still need to remove these pieces of protective tape that are on their print heads by pulling down on those orange tabs. Do that for both cartridges, then open the front cover, then open the inner cartridge cover, and you'll notice that the cartridge tray then slides into view. Now you're going to insert the cartridges with the tricolor cartridge going into the left tray. Push it in till it snaps into place, then insert the black cartridge into the tray on the right. Push it in till it snaps into place, then close the inner cover, and you can can leave the outer cover open for now and if your cartridges were installed correctly you'll notice that the cartridge level indicators now show full cartridges now it's time to load paper into the paper tray to open the paper tray pull up on this plastic flap and angle it backwards with this gray flap held open slide the paper guide all the way to the left insert a few sheets of paper into the paper tray and then push the blue paper guide slightly inwards so the paper aligns correctly and that's pretty much all the setup that we can do on the printer itself. The rest of the setup has to be done on a computer or mobile device. So I'm going to show you how to set it up on a Windows computer. Now this is on a Windows 11 computer but the procedure is pretty much identical even if you have Windows 10. So the first thing you want to do is go into your start bar and then in your start bar if you can't see it immediately you want to search for store and that brings up the Microsoft Store. Tap on that and once the Microsoft Store opens up you want to go into the search bar and search for HP Smart and you'll notice that the HP Smart app comes up in the search results. Click on that and once that opens up you'll notice there is an install option. Click install to begin installing the app and allow it to download and install the app. And once it's done downloading, tap open and wait for the app to open up. And when the app opens up, the first screen you'll see is Welcome to HP Smart. And it asks you to accept their terms and conditions. Click Accept All. And on the next page, it asks you whether you'd like to set up a new printer, sign in or skip for now. I'm just going to say skip for now because I prefer to set it up from the home page of the app. Click Skip for now. And then on the home page, you want to click on the Add Printer button and then it says that it is searching for printers in your immediate vicinity and you'll notice that it finds the printer we're looking for which is the HP DeskJet 2700 series and then click set up and then on the next page just click continue and it's trying to connect the printer to Wi-Fi and the next message it displays is that it wants to access the Wi-Fi password for the Wi-Fi network that my computer is currently connected to. This does tend to be a little clunky at times so I recommend avoiding that so click no thanks and enter your Wi-Fi password manually which is what I'm going to do then click connect give it a few seconds to go through the connection steps and on the next screen it asks you to press the flashing information button on your printer 
which is what I'm going to do now. A few minutes later, it lets you know that it has successfully connected the printer to the Wi-Fi network. Click continue. On the screen that follows, it wants you to accept more terms and conditions. Click accept all. And then it asks you whether you'd like to activate HP Plus for smart printing capabilities. I don't plan to do this right now. It's optional. You're welcome to do it if you'd like. In my case, I'm just going to click do not activate HP Plus. And then it asks me if I'm sure about doing this. And I'm going to say declare HP Plus. The next warning notice lets me know that this printer will not work with aftermarket cartridges or even reused or refilled HP cartridges. So that's something to bear in mind. Click continue. On the next screen, it asks you to either sign into an HP account that you already have or create one. Now, I highly recommend creating an account if you don't already have one or signing into your existing account for warranty purposes. So in my case, I already have an HP account. I'm just going to sign in but if you don't have one you can just create a new account so i'm just going to sign in now as you sign in to your new or existing account it lets you know that it has registered your printer which is good for warranty purposes on the next screen it lets you know that this printer automatically ships you ink for two months and it lets you know that when your printer runs low on ink it automatically orders more so you don't have to run out i'm not a big fan of this but this feature does exist on this printer in my case i'm not going to sign up for this service right now so i'm just going to click do not enable ink delivery. You can always enable it if you'd like at a later time, but I'm just going to click do not enable ink delivery. And then again, it wants to check if I'm sure I'm going to say yes, skip offer. And on the screen that follows, it wants to know if I'd like to enable auto updates. So I don't see any issue with enabling auto update because this keeps your printer up to date without you having to manually check. So select auto update and click apply. And now it lets you know that you can actually install HP smart on other devices and print to this printer from those devices. Now I'm going to be showing you how to set it up on those other devices. So we're going to click skip sending link and then it lets you know that the setup is complete and you're ready to print. Now you can print a test page from this computer just to make sure it's working. So I highly recommend doing this. So click print to print your test page and you'll now notice that it brings you back to the home page of the app and you'll also notice that the HP DeskJet 2700 series now appears on top and you'll see a message that it's ready and this completes our setup on a Windows computer and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video I will have separate videos for how to set this printer up on a Mac and how to set this printer up on a mobile device so feel free to check those out and as I also mentioned I will be doing a full review of this printer Printer, so stay tuned for that. If you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe to stay tuned for that full review. And if you're already subscribed, please make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified as soon as that review is uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.